Hello. In today's session, I am going to explain how we can install VS Code in MacBook M1. So let's get started. So if we can go to official website of uh, Visual Studio Code, we can say here what is Visual Studio basically. So these days, uh, Visual Studio is very popular. Why is popular? Because it's lightweight but powerful source code editor that runs on your desktop and available for all the, mostly all the operating system and we can run javascript typescript node.js python php so it's supporting lot of languages and by default they have created like extensions so if we can install the extension to support particular language you want to run so this is really good and uh, that's lightweight so that is taking a less memory to run it so how, how we can install it generally uh, we can go to download and install the particular uh, exe or depend upon your operating system that particular kind of so installation and it will run it but i'm using macbook m1 so what i have done it i i am under homebrew website okay and if i search like uh, visual studio code so this command is coming out so what we need to do just copy this this url and run into rosetta terminal so if you don't know what is rosetta terminal how we can enable rosetta feature with macbook m1 so you can go to watch my youtube playlist like macbook m1 and you will see all, all the solutions there so if we run this particular command here so brew install hyphen cask visual studio code so it's going to if you say it's saying it's already installed so it's not able to install no need to install if you can go to our particular project right and from the command prompt we can say code code is the shortcut like the way we have IntelliJ idea shortcut idea similar we have code uh, launcher from the command prompt so if we can click on command current folder is going to be open so we can say my java code is kotlin code is now is opening here right so you say i'm missing you know on the kt file so let me search so this is treating as a plain text but i have to find out in marketplace kotlin support so we can see the extension is automatically coming for us so you just install it so it's installing if you want auto complete feature let's install it yeah i think that is fair enough Kotlin language, Kotlin. So, welcome to this one. Okay. Now, if we go to open this file, now we can see is is highlighting, right? Kotlin file. So, uh, this is something. Uh, if that um, particular like uh, language is not available, it's it's automatically give you option search in marketplace and find out the extension, right? And here is BS code is also supporting Git. So it says 11 pending changes for in my source control. So, so we have so many features and we can open a new terminal here, right? To run all these command lines uh, is here itself without going to be any other terminal. So that's really helpful and it's, it's quick fast to do deployment with this editor. Hope you like this video please subscribe my channel and in coming in future i will share more videos on vs code thank you for watching happy happy learning